Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona, and uh, hoping you are having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation is basically saying, look, we want to find a dy dx, but we don't have a y equal to a nice equation of x. As in this case, it's probably as messy as it gets because we have the variable buried inside a trig function. Okay, so if you go on to my math channel, which is Tucson Math Doc, there's a uh, probably half dozen or so worked out example on a general approach on how to solve implicit differentiation. Now let's take a look at for this one. So the general idea when you're solving for implicit differentiation is I tell my students put a dagger on the variable y because you're gonna treat it as a function of x. So think of it as a undercover mob or undercover FBI agent. It's infiltrated into the enemy camp and you have to dig it out. So one thing you can do for this one, do you deed this whole thing, derivative for this whole thing against the x, the first term become one. That's an easy one. And then for the cosine, it becomes minus sine. Now here we're gonna have to use a chain rule because the derivative for the cosine becomes sine. And then you have to take derivative for the x plus y, not just the y term, but x plus y term. So it becomes one plus dy dx. And here is our target, or think it as the mob we want to penetrate it to, or maybe flip it. Uh, from here, it's pretty easy. Once you have the dy dx, so we're going to just gather gather dy dx all by itself, at pretty much like solving an equation. Uh, we have 1 minus sine x plus y, and we'll just distribute it in here, minus sine of x plus y times what I'm looking for, which is dy dx, and this whole thing equal to 0. And I'm going to move this whole chunk over to the right hand of the equal sign, make it a little easier. So I have 1 minus sine of x plus y divided by sine of x plus y. And that becomes my dy dx. So we isolated the mob boss, and then we're going to have an explicit form for dy dx. Now let's simplify it here because I see I can cancel it. 1 over sine theta, the definition is cosecant theta. So we're going to use that. It's cosecant theta of, ah, uh, not theta, it's plus y. Theta would be nice, but that's not what we have. Minus 1 is equal to dy dx. And that is my final answer. So this is how we handle solving for implicit differentiation. Once again, this is Dr. Pan from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or vote thumb up. Let's see if I can draw it. If this has been helpful. Till next time, have a confident day.